Hello everyone, another well, part of Baptiste Bomb. This is something we're doing on Top Dream. And uh, yes, it does have a special intro, so here it is. With sleep comes dreams. What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm gonna do is dream myself up a mustache. Wow. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Meow, meow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow. I'm ready! Meow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. And here we are. In a level that gave me nightmares as a kid. Trust me, I don't know why either. And, uh, I mean, it has the full version of the fight song, which is one of my favorite songs of this game. But it also has a lot of this shit. A lot of these, uh, boxes. These very dickish boxes. I believe these sorts of obstacles appear a lot more in SpongeBob's movie, the, the game. You know, the PS2 version, not the PC version. If you all seen the PC version, the PC version can suck it. Also, this guy's gonna be a huge annoyance. Get rid of him immediately, and then get yourself onto this island. And then begin the first golden spatch that you'll want to get, which is throwing a bubble wall at that, you know, that pinwheel there. And then get on top of this beach ball, and then taking it all the way to a golden spatula. You can't ride this because they don't go right off because of you being on an you know, manipulating the whole thing and fucking it up. But you have to time it so you can actually reach it, otherwise you'll miss it. Which is why I'm going to jump cut now, that's when I actually do get it. Now, the best way to do it is to get past the ball, go straight to the final platform, wait for the ball to come over here, and then jump right on it from the very end, and then just jump right off immediately onto the golden spatula, like that. And there you go. Don't worry, there's a burger below us, so we are able to survive. And there's 75 golden spatulas collected. Now, this main area is not where we're going to be doing the most of this level. Because as you already know, by the way, uh, there's a little bit of a thing, like, right over here, in which uh, if I touch this at any point, yeah, I just instantly slide, and I almost went off and died. And, uh, yeah, the main thing about this is that we're not even going to be in this area much. We're going to be in the other character streams, which each one costs a thousand to get to. But Sandy's is free. And Sandy being the first one means we're going to be playing as Sandy. So yes, this level does involve us playing as Sandy. But will it also involve us playing as Patrick? Because, well, both their dreams are here. So this would be the first level, and only level, to let us play as all three characters at once, in one level. But right now, let's begin Sandy's dream, and see what she's, her dream's all about, which it's actually the most fun of them all. Wow, your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. Nice. But yeah, we're not going to go for that golden spatula yet on the golden acorn. But first of all, we are going to go ahead and do this. We're going to be sneaking across these shustikis. And then, you can just walk on them, by the way. And uh, then we're going to get across onto the stone tikis. 
get that really good shine up there. And then go all the way back and trigger the last TNT key down there so that we can get a good combo going and a lot of shines. And we're going to need shines because this one did indeed have another clam that requires at least 2,800 shines. And we'll be needing to spend at least a thousand shine each to get to every other dream. So yes, we'll be spending about 5,800 shines. It's a good thing I got this much, you know, because we're going to need a lot of shines. But now it's time to begin the slide, which this whole entire level is basically a giant slide. It is also the most fun part of this level and is in fact the best slide in the entire game because not only are there are a lot of branching paths and a lot of variety to the design of it and all but also it is extremely fun to actually write this one fun and difficult too because there are a few bits that are actually hard to deal with but first get over to here to that little island over there jump off and then hello plankton that's what I need a creature with a backbone actually pay this much to actually get the real dialogue with Plankton. Who puts challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels? We're tough like that. Oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? And there you go. So yes, you see how this building looks exactly the same as the one over there by the challenge. And you see that little platform there, that little bit of a land at the back. Yeah, that's, your, that's a hint. But it's not a very fun hint because you can see that it's a very iffy sort of thing. And also, this jump's huge. Like, holy shit, this one. This one's not easy. You're going to have to time it all and get your shit right in order to make it through this. And then, you have to deal with a barrage of enemies. Now, the thing is, this is not the hardest barrage of enemies in the entire game. Oh no, that one's coming up way later in this level. But right now, let's just focus on taking care of these guys, killing them all, and in by doing so, we will actually be given a reward. A golden spatula. However, we are not going to leave just yet. Even though I now have the golden spatula because I have like 76, it does not mean that we are done yet. You see, if you notice, back in the island where Plankton was, the small island had a little thing at the back, and you might be able to notice it there. So, we're supposed to get to the back. As you can see, there's something back there. But how do we get to it? Well, you're gonna have to get some height, and then glide all the way around, in order to get to it. Yeah. It's a bit of an iffy thing. But once you make it to there, you get the sock. And now you can actually go back, but you can't go back that way because then you'll fucking die. Instead, you have to go around the other way, back the way you came, and making sure not to fall. Now, you can't take the swings back. The swings, you know, that big jump, yeah, that's... I'm not going to come back down, there's not any more swings, so you're basically not going to find any way of getting back here by swing. Which means no use going into plenty anymore. So how do we go back? Well you just saw there's a trampoline there, so take that trampoline all the way back. And uh, then we can go back on the slide, because there's no point being in this area anymore. It's just all slide now. Oh, land on a cactus, that's nice. So yeah, nothing else around here. Let's leave. By sun on that shine right over here. Now, there is a sock here, and you do not want to miss the sock, because then you'll have to go for the entire slide again, and fuck that, really. That's annoying. So go up this way, continue on through here, 
jump off, continue on, get these shines, and then eventually you'll find yourself into an area where you'll find this. Get on the swing, take the swing up here, and then continue on forward to get your sock. Don't miss it. And be careful of these things, by the way, because they will hurt. So that's both socks this level. And by the way, we only have three socks left now. Once we get these last three socks, we have every sock in the game, which means we can actually get all of Patrick's spatulas. But right now, let's just focus on continuing on from here. And, uh, yeah. One more obstacle for the slides. These are cows on their balloons throwing pies at you. Yeah. Be careful of that. Also, here's some enemies. They're annoying, but the good news is, if you can get past all this shit, you can get to yourself a sock. So take care of all the enemies and get the sock. And now don't die and get rid of these enemies more, and then you have a free spot, as well as some more underpants. Now, take the trampoline up there and continue on. If you're wondering what's behind this area though, considering it's very obvious that there would be an area here, like a secret or whatever, there's nothing. There's no point going behind here. I... I mean... Good enough, I mean, I don't have to look here, but... They, they kind of made it look like there was something behind there by letting me go behind there like that, but whatever. Uh, anyway, it's a trampoline and continue on up the slide. And you're gonna know the underpants in case you're missing one more piece of health. Now, this one's very narrow. It's, it's a very narrow sort of slide here. And it kind of just goes a bit more wide and it gets a bit more skinny every time. And then on the last turn, it gets really hard. And you're gonna have to really turn to make this one. And even then, you'll probably screw up. You have to make a jump to get through. So, yeah. Once we get to the other side, get on the swing. And then continue on inside this, uh thing for all these stars and then get yourself over the giant pit of fucking cow shit there has been a lot of manure around here and I don't know why anyway let's continue on with the slide because around here we are going to find electricity now luckily this isn't too hot to deal with the cows are though the cows are mean. In fact, I'm gonna get hit by one of them by complete accident because, yeah, he goes far. Once you get all the way through this, take the big jump, use your gliding, and then get the golden spatula on top of the acorn. And you have now been done with Sandy's dream. Now get in the box, go back to the start, and then leave the area because you have done one of four dreams. Yep, there are four dreams to go through. And yes, they are going to get hard. In fact, this was the second hardest one. Wow, if anyone was going to make it down this sky slide, it was going to be you. Thanks, Larry. So yeah, now we're going to leave. And yeah, in case you're wondering, we're going to need SpongeBob to get back up here, up to this badge, the sheriff badge, and then leave through these gates. These cowboy gates. Back to the stream. Now it's time for us to go to Squidward's because we have to defeat this clam thousand to get the Squidward, which requires us to do a lot of trampoline jumping. Now, this is nothing new, really. In fact, you might be noticing this is very, uh. How should I say this? Super Mario 64? Really? The way this is all lined up and such? But this entire area just looks like a complete bonus area in that game. Or in Sunshine. Anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, yeah, not get screwed there and get that spatch on top of the Squidward's house. Now we have to go into Squidward's dream and see what we're up against. This is the third hardest level in the game, in the level I mean. And yeah, we need another thousand to get to Mr. Krabs, which, trust me, it's not going to be that fun. But, so we'll stream first, then Mr. Krabs. 
For heaven's sake, boy, cover your ears. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing in Squidward's dream? Hard time, boy, or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. Is that your excuse for why you have a different voice actor? Because you're running out of aspirin, your voice is so fucked up because of it? That's not a very good reason for why you have a different voice actor and why you could get the same motherfucker, but whatever. Anyway, let's just uh, continue on, you know, go through all these notes and not hit the red because the red hurts you will knock you down and uh, the yellow will fall down so we have to get across these they are all off notes by the way very reminiscent of uh, Squidward's playing ability on the clarinet while the blue is actually nice so even into his dreams he still fucks up on the clarinet very sad really Yeah, we have to go through a big line of this shit, and there is a lot of variety to these sorts of, uh, musical obstacles. There's also a sock up there. That sock is going to make this longer. These shines are not going to make this any easier. I'm dead. Good news, though, we got a checkpoint. There are a few checkpoints in this level, but for the most part... When you go for that sock, there's not a checkpoint at the end of this trail. So, here's the thing. When you get that sock, you have to go through this entire road of bullshit again. If you die, you still have to do it. So, yeah. The game is not very nice when it comes to, uh, you know, giving you some help on this. But yeah, once you make it all the way across, that's so where you can get the sock, get it now, and then just either land over there and continue on back over here, or die, and then continue on back over here. I'm gonna jump cut so I don't waste your time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go through this, which by the way, you might be noticing that the notes do disappear as soon as I hit that thing, even though you can see the ends of it, those little bits at the end of the circle. Uh, just going right through the platform and uh, then disappearing out of nowhere for no reason. Yeah, they really thought of it well with this one. Oh, and by the way, I died again. This is not an easy level because actually trying to land on these areas and, uh, you know, make sure you know what you're doing. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, especially when you have to deal with, you know, these off notes that fall down and all these trampolines that are around here, which is just like drums and such. I don't know why they're here. And uh, you have to get all the way to this giant head, as well as, as well as giant nose. Which, again, not that easy. Once you make it all the way over here, all you have to do is just get on the uh, trump, the trombone, whatever, all the way up to there, get the box, and then get the spatula. By the way, if you notice, there's only about three, four paintings all around this entire level. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you noticed that. Anyway, grab the shine, and then you have to go and uh, get on that, you know, the trampoline again. So get on the note, and then go on the trampoline to go back again inside the clarinet, stuff it in there. And then, get in the box and leave, because you are done with the stream now. Oh, and make sure to get some more shines from these tiki's and such because, uh, you know, you might as well. Good job! Now, let's hoist anchor and get out of here! Well, you know, you can just go for the gates to heaven, I guess. Well, why are they here? Anyway, now you have to spend a thousand clams, I mean, shiny objects, on the clam to go for this shit. Yeah, this one's a bit of a pain. You're gonna have to find out what the hell is going to flip over and what's not. And then once you're over to Mr. Krabs, uh, Krusty Krab, in this dream, you'll then have to take care of this robot so that you can go and get another shine. There is no suck behind here, sadly. 
And do not go to your right, because then you'll have to go and, you know, the whole Patrick thing. Which, by the way, is the last stream. But right now, it's the crab stream first, which is actually the hardest fucking part of this entire game. Squidward, this is amazing. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. Whoa! Lunch rush! I'd better grab my hat. Forget the hat. Get that spatula and get us out of here. It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun. We don't have time for this. Welcome to literally the hardest fucking level of the game. Also, if you die like I did right there, which you didn't see, that little spatula, that giant spatula is gone. Forever. So, you're probably wondering, what makes this so hard? Well, a lot of these annoying enemies are going to be here, and you know those assholes that shoot all at you? Yeah, there's two of them. And the whole point of it is not to kill them all, because they will keep spawning, but more to kill a specific sort of enemies, so that this shit can open up, all these patties, all the ingredients of the patties, and then you just go up on top of each ingredient, to the bun at the top, and destroy the spawner. And while you're doing that, more enemies will be spawning, which will bring the ingredient back inside the patty, which means you have to kill them. And you have to keep doing this. Over and over and over again. And because of how obnoxious the whole thing is and how easily they can easily screw you over and kill you, and because of how much health you have, this is literally the hardest level in the game to me because this took me at least 20 attempts as a kid and it was literally the most frustrating fucking part of the game. And I blame it on these all shooting pieces of shit. Especially since there's two of them and they will both shoot at you when given the chance. But there is some good news. Bubble bowling. You know I don't do it much because, well, I got the rocket now. Why bubble bowl? But when it comes to this level, use bubble bowl. Use it on these two motherfuckers and take them down. And dodge their shit. Once they're dead, take care of the rest of them, and then you'll win. Hear that music? Hear that music just repeated itself? Yeah, you're done here. So now, grab whatever shines you can find here, and also grab the sock that is by the end of the grill here, the giant grill. That's your last sock of the entire game. Congratulations, you have now all 80 socks. Now, it's time for you to go get the golden spatula, get the, uh... You know, the purple shine that's on the other end of the grill at the bottom. And then go to the Squidward because you want that dialogue. And then go inside the small gates to heaven. Also, yes, this place is covered in gold and money. You should expect that. Anyway, go down there, get that shine, and then talk to the Squidward for dialogue. Finally! Now we can leave. But first, I need my paycheck. Mr. Krabs! Excuse me! It's crap. Sadly, this crap's not here. He's in your dream, which I don't know why you're both swapped in your dreams, but whatever. Anyway, let's leave. And now it's time for the final level. Another thousand to get to Patrick's dream. Now, Patrick's dream is interesting. Very interesting. First of all, another obstacle course to get through. But it's not that. It's not that reason why it's interesting. Also, fuck these boxes. This is the hardest obstacle course to get through because, yeah, it's kind of random and weird and awkward and it sucks and I hate it. But yeah, it's Patrick's house, as you can tell. And uh, yes, we do have to take care of this guy because we want to get that golden spatula that he is guarding right now, as well as the box. And then we can go and get the spatula, open the box, and do Patrick's dream. Now, Patrick's dream is extremely e- like, not easy, but, uh, interesting, honestly. Very interesting. You see, there- it's- 
it's a very interesting level. Like, I, I think they really outdid themselves this level, honestly. When you really look at the rest of this game, this is a very interesting level. It has a lot of polish and class to it. It is literally one of the best levels of the game. And I, I gotta show you the rest of this. Like, across the dreamscape, got all the socks there, fall the bouncing ball, saw in Texas style, swing us ahoy, music gets in the air at the beholder, all right, patty platforms into a bounce. And this is where Patrick's is. Are you ready to see Patrick's dream? The interesting level of the game the most interesting level of all about bikini bottom here it is guys patrick's dream and by that i mean the unused stage patrick's dream which by the way i'm using faz guys footage of this so uh there'll be a yeah there's a logo right there Make sure to click on that for the annotation and such. And if you don't have annotations, click on the description below to see this video and his channel. Give him support because he goes through a lot of unused stuff in games. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there is no sky box. That box only works on one side. Uh, Mrs. Puff is here for some reason, and she will always look away from you and never talk to you. She was supposed to have dollar, but doesn't have any. Uh, you don't have any fur for whatever, so you can't use the Tita Totter, but because of cheats, he is not only able to float, but he is also able to change the sandy with AR codes. There's also broken checkpoints here. There's a lot of ice cream and such, a lot of desserts because, you know, Patrick. And, uh, yeah, there's also a thing where, uh, some of the models are inside out. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But there you go. There are also these things called killer cherries. Yeah. And, uh, they will hurt you and they suck. It's also banana platforms. Um, there's also those little, um, shit, what the hell they were called? Those sticks that, uh, you know, you, you might be possible to slide down them. That could have been a possibility, uh, but you don't do that here. You just walk down them. And there's also, like, this stuff and ice creams that bounce. And I'll be showing off another platform, that, another bit of the uh, ground that is inside out and texture-wise. Okay, again, thank you, Fast Guy, for showing this all off. You know, actually making a good recording of this. Everyone else has like commentary, which is like really shit and laggy. This one's actually almost perfect. There is still some lag you might be able to notice, but that is because. It's not a very stable level, as you can tell, because it's unfinished, and this is on the GameCube version. As you can see, also, it's, like, widescreen a bit, so that's nice. But I made it, like, you know, I made it 4x3. But, uh, you know, in my recording of the commentary. But also, there's a spatula here, which, uh, you know, he already collected, sadly, but it is here. And it's also this line of enemies and NPCs and, like, tikis. And by the way, there's a straw here which you can get stuck in if you went for it. But luckily he has cheats he can get out of that. But yeah, the Tikis. The Tikis here, two of them are literally old versions of them. The Flying and the TNT Keys. And as you can see, they are very noticeable in their differences. And the last thing I want to show off, because it is my favorite thing, will be coming up soon, by like Hello Onions, make sure of that. But yeah, um, like, what I'm seeing right now is 4x3, what you'll be seeing though is 16x9, like this actual recording was, of this video, no, I was supposed to say by the way for some reason, uh, because I actually want to show off the whole thing about it looking awkward. And also, you should definitely check out Faz Guy's videos in his channel. I mean it. And, uh, yeah, the last thing I want to show off outside of all this is my favorite thing, kill a cucumber. The most dangerous of all the NPCs, of all the enemies in the entire game. But here's the thing. This is unfinished. This was never released. This was never shown. This wasn't like an E3 trailer or something like that, like a demo or whatever, but that was about it. This is extremely unfinished though. It was never actually put into the game. So what was? Patrick's mind. You see, Patrick's mind is what is used in the game, like it says in that little box there. And yes, it was renamed to Patrick's Dream. So you want to see what Patrick's Dream actually is in the game? Because at least here it doesn't make any sense. 
but this will be more in context of the show. Welcome to Patrick's dream, or Patrick's mind, really. Now, this is in reference to that one specific episode where, um, you know, Spongebob went into Patrick's dream and, uh, it was like this white void and, uh, yeah, I think you all know what that episode was. But now we're in a black void, and if we go next to Patrick, this happens. Patrick, you have a golden spatula. Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula. You're holding it. You did it! Now here is your reward. And there you go. So, yeah, not much in this level except for the fact when you go far away, you know, the uh, draw distance just like really makes everything disappear. And this is a big level, even though there's nothing here. But yeah, this is this is a lot more in context of the show considering that one episode compared to an ice cream world, which wouldn't make any sense, even though it kind of does. Because, you know, Patrick's stupid, so this makes a lot of sense. But yeah, that's about it, really. That's it for this level. And, honestly, we're gonna go back now. You wanna leave now? Meow. I know it's my dream, but I want you to stay. Meow. Oh, thanks, buddy. Well, Gary can say, but I'm not a new SpongeBob because we're going back to not only get the socks back to Patrick, but also to go and finally deal with the Chum Bucket because we have enough golden spatulas to deal with that now. But first of all, we have to go to Patrick, so we're going to SpongeBob our way over there right now, and we're going to get the dialogue of that as well as get eight golden spatulas from him. Ten each. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. And there you go. And uh, in case you're wondering if there's any more dialogue that's different. Well, no. no. No, every single one of them is the same. Every single bit of dialogue between Patrick and SpongeBob here of the socks is exactly the same. All eight of them. And I'm gonna skip for every single one of them. Yes, it is obnoxious. Yes, it's kind of stupid. Yeah, it feels like they had to really, you know, think far ahead of this. And, uh, yeah. This, uh, this is kind of boring. But we'll keep at it. We'll keep at it because we're getting very close now to finishing with these uh, socks. In which we'll get 90 golden spatulas. And if you're wondering if the last one, the last patch from him, is anything different, because it's the last one, here you go. Here's what it sounds like. Yeah, it's no different. So yeah, I didn't really think of anything for the last golden spatula from Patrick, and also, I told him again after you get all the golden spatulas from him, this happens. I'm not joking, by the way. Now if I could only find my other sock. It's on your head, remember? Well, of course. Now, where did I put it? Yeah, I'm not joking. They literally give you the dialogue as if you didn't get enough socks. They didn't really give you any new dialogue for getting all socks. So, yeah. Good job, devs. Good job. Anyway, into the chump bucket we go because we are literally going to end the part here now. So, first of all, skip this. There you go. Go for this one of those dialogue. There we go. Mm-hmm. 
and also blow up these for some shines because next time on Battle for Kini Bottom, the final part of Battle for Kini Bottom, we are going to go and deal with the boss battle, the final boss battle in Blanton's little restaurant, the Chum Bucket. So, yes, next time Battle for Kini Bottom, we are going directly into Plankton's lab. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in the final part.